A judge sentenced a former Rhinelander nurse to four years in prison today. Evan Sheedy of Three Lakes secretly recorded a partially nude patient last year. Sheedy appeared in Oneida County Court this afternoon. He was a nurse at St. Mary's Ascension when he took video of a patient without her consent. Judge Thomas Egan called Sheedy's actions a horrific violation of trust. Egan sentenced Sheedy to one count of capturing an intimate representation and a separate count of child pornography possession. After four years in prison, Sheedy will have three more years under supervision. Restitution will be paid to the victim in an amount to be determined. The Eagle River Historical Society launched its newest Facebook series earlier this month. This year's theme is objects that connect to Eagle River history. It's part of a continued effort by the society to make its history more accessible during the pandemic. The series highlights object-based learning for all ages. The society will post about twice per month during the year. You can find its page on Facebook at Eagle River Historical Society. It's hockey playoffs time. We had some regional action last night, starting in Eagle River with a four versus five matchup. Northland Pines hosting Marshfield. The Eagles brought the energy early. Grace Whitkoff on the breakaway, but look at this great save by Madison Wagner Dirt to keep things scoreless. A little bit later, Another Whitkoff shot, another Wagner Durr save. There it is, but Eagles stay on the offensive, this time off of a turnover. Mallory Schmidt shoots one in front that's deflected just wide, but the Eagles won't stay scoreless much longer. Whitkopf, again, a one-man wrecking crew, one-woman wrecking crew. She takes it down the ice and slides it over to a wide-open Schmidt, who buries it. Eagles on top, 1-0. They win 4-0 and advance to face top-seeded D.C. Everest. Now let's head down to Highway 17 for some boys hockey. Ryan Lander hosting Tom Hawk, picking things up midway through the second period. Ryan Lander up 5-2, but here come the hatchets. Zach Frisky he does most of the work, and Caleb Dickens is there to clean things up. That cuts the lead to 5-3. to three. But the Hodags, they kept up the pressure. Let's go to this puck drop. And Calagas with a great pass, but Leo Loesch just can't put it in. And then a little bit later, Hodags on the break. A great pass, but even better save from Cody Cox. He kept his team in it, but the hatchets would still fall 5-4. to four. Rhinelander moving on.